on a simple way, an empowerment is like a kickstart, uh, starting you off um, on a on a on a path of um, becoming closer and closer and closer to an enlightened being, so that finally you yourself become um, an enlightened being. It's a very interesting word, empowerment. Um, empowering what, you know, and. Um, it's empowering actually our uh, yeah. our pure qualities. So within all of us, there is pure qualities of um, wisdom, compassion, love, um, and through receiving the empowerment and through practicing the the, the various practices, um, we enhance, we empower those qualities within us. So when we uh, receive an empowerment, there's a moment in which we create a uh, we re we create a connection with the deity. So a deity is an enlightened being um, that uh, presents or is the symbol or manifests um, an enlightened quality. So for example, uh, Manjushri, who is the wisdom of all the Buddhas, um, appearing as, um, as uh, Buddha Manjushri. Um, and so when we receive an empowerment, it's like we receive a seed of the deity into our mind. And then if we do the practices that the empowerment allows us afterwards to do, um, that seed will grow, 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 and we will have, we will become the, that deity. Um, so an empowerment um, sows the seeds of enlightenment, we can say. Empowerment is like the method by which our potential for enlightenment ripens quicker.